Okay boys, well, just working on the crossband repeater here again today. Um, I was confirming the wiring between the two heads on the both the TK760 and the TK860Hs. And uh, basically, anybody wanting to know how you wire these up, this here is the diagram, picture diagram, how you wire it up. It's uh, not too difficult. As you've got the audio line right and your PTT line right, and you're fine. Um, so, this is the schematic of the same thing. you got the audio coming from radio 1 through a 22k resistor to the mic audio jack to the PTT mic audio to radio 2. Then you've got the 5 volt uh, UM line from uh, radio 1 which basically is when squelch opens and you have sound it supplies by volts which comes across diode which switches on the 2N3904 and keys up uh, radio 2 so that's how that works audio to mic um, 5 volts to PTT and that's it <laughs> that's how it works and that's the diagram and this is the first time I've shown the inside of two of these radios. Quite easily, easy how they're made. This here is the audio speaker, or I should say the audio line. Goes for a 22k resistor, which is right here. And that's from radio 1. The other wire, uh, this one here, is the 5 volts, which goes to the other radio which is right here and here's the board layout showing the uh, transistor diode and resistor same as right here and um, beforehand I just had these two wires directly connected between this radio and this one so uh, what I've got done now what I spent the day doing well last little while is I had to put a stereo jack and stereo plug so basically any house of one radio I can disconnect it quite easily just by keying error just by pushing two of these together and we have a crossband repeater where I disconnect them and you have two individual radios <laughs> easy so yeah so now the next part um, I'm working on now I've got to obviously fix the power leads on both of these so I've got a couple couple plugs, but what I'm going to do is wire two of these together, two of these radios together, onto one plug. And, uh, yeah, the ID, the ID identification part of it, I uh, found a circuit offline, or online, uh, voice recorder, CW recorder, whatever, but um, the chip is about $13, and like five bucks shipping or something so I said you gotta be a cheaper way so I went on eBay found another little kit it's a voice recording uh, kit with a chip and everything board the whole works and uh, well <laughs> for the sake of like a buck seventy I got the whole thing so yeah so I got that ordered off of eBay and now I'm just waiting for the triple five uh, timer chip to come uh, my buddy Bill has that and uh, he's going to drop that off today. And then we get the timer part of it uh, built. So anyways, it's going to be, uh, for ID, it's going to be voice. Voice recording. Um, I don't know if I'll use my voice or somebody else's voice, but regardless, that's the way it's going to be. So yeah, I just figured I'd uh, give a little update on the crossband repeater, how she's making out. And uh, i got a whole lot more information put on my website. We're in a 63 at uh, wixsite.com or wix.com, whatever. Uh, link is in the description. Anyways, all the best and uh, look for another update on this as soon as the recording chip or board kit, whatever, arrives. All the best. Take her easy.